the queen. With the black queen. Yes. There's a poor clearance from Ghana's centre-back, Hana Nyame. She was under pressure from Nigeria's Judith Uka. So Nigeria have a throw-in inside Ghana's area. Both coaches, Danjuma and Basigi, have carved a niche for themselves as far as women's football coaching on the continent is concerned. They've done remarkably well in the last couple of years. Abiba for Ghana. Here is Mukarama, Abdullahi. Good hold up play for Mukarama. She still hangs on, but whistle goes in favor of Ghana because there was an earlier foul referee overlooked because Ghana had the advantage, but she had to recall because Ghana had lost possession. Asana al Hassan Zilevri. Nigeria takeover blessing of bit. Ball cleared away by Abiba. It's a late tackle on Nigeria's Ola DJ. Mephia Nyame was the one who went in with a late tackle. It tells you how anxious the Ghanaians are to stop the Nigerians. But I think that they need to be careful. A chance for Nigeria. What a mistake Sorry. from Ghana's goalkeeper, Afi Amanyeku. She's basically gifted Nigeria the opening goal. What a howler. How did she do that in an epic game like this? Nigeria in the lead against Ghana in Cape Coast. It's Ghana. Nil. Nigeria won. And she's got herself to blame. Let's see how it happened. Long ball taken by Nigeria's Ola Depo. This was harmless. She handled it, she left it, and Nigeria score. The opening goal through Lovett Ede. You realize that a similar foul was committed, a similar mistake was committed in the game against Uganda in the final group game. I mean, these are the kind of things you do and you get punished for it. And moments ago, we were just talking about the need for them to watch it they shouldn't be playing around their goal area at all because you can't do that against a clinical side like Nigeria. So Thank you. 